So what we're going to do is we're going to write a program that asks the user for the temperature in Fahrenheit and then we're going to convert the temperature into Celsius and Kelvin and so the equations for that are the temperature Celsius is equal to temperature Fahrenheit minus 32 over 1.8 and then the temperature Kelvin once you have the temperature in Celsius is equal to the temperature in Celsius plus 273 and then what we the next thing we want to do so we want to display those values to the user once we calculate them and then we want to calculate the wind chill using the formulas for Fahrenheit and Celsius temperatures and the formulas for the wind chill are there's two that we're going to use so there's a formula for calculating the wind chill in Celsius and one for calculating the wind chill in Fahrenheit so the one for calculating the the one for calculating the wind chill using the Fahrenheit temperature is 35.74 plus 0. Point, this is a really long form um, 6215 and then this is the temperature of the air in Fahrenheit so air temp in degrees Fahrenheit and this is minus 35.75 and then this is the wind speed, and this is to the 0 0.16 power plus 0 0.4275 multiplied by the temperature of the air multiplied by the wind speed to 0 0.16. And then the wind chill in Celsius is 13.12 plus 0 0.6215 multiplied by the temperature of the air in Celsius. So that I'm just going to put air temp in degrees Celsius minus 11.37 multiplied by the wind speed to 0 0.16 plus 0 0.3965 temperature of the air multiplied by the wind speed to 0.16. And this wind speed here is in miles per hour, and this wind speed here is in kilometers per hour. So let's go work on some code to do this. And so one thing that you always want to do is put a comment at the top of the program explaining what the program does. So this program is going to obtain temperature in Fahrenheit from the user and that's going to convert the temperature to Celsius and Kelvin. It's also going to calculate, and I'm going to go to the next line for this, so calculate the wind chill in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. At the top of every program, put what the program does, put your name. You could maybe put the assignment as well, just for completeness, so maybe the name of the class and then assignment, whatever it is. You have, so you have a comment at the top of the code saying what it does, and then coming down here, I have, so I have my sort of skeleton code, and I'm going to show you something else that we can do here. Instead of using this, using namespace standard, another thing we can do is we can say using standard C out, and because we're going to be using C out, and we're going to be using C in as well, so I'm going to put that here too, so using standard C in. We would need, if we use an end line, we'll need, need an end line there as well. Like we're, so we're asking the user for the temperature in Fahrenheit. I'm gonna do double, um, that's a floating point. So double and then temperature F, double temp C, and double temp Kelvin. And then we're also gonna have double, I'm just gonna call the wind chill, well, maybe I'll call it wind chill F double wind chill C. Tell the user what's going on. Um, so C out, this program calculates the temperature, and I'm going to go to the next line because it's getting kind of long, in Celsius and Kelvin from Fahrenheit 
and it also calculates the wind chill. And then, and then we want to ask the user for the for the temperature in Fahrenheit. So temperature. I'm going to say enter temperature in Fahrenheit, and I'm just going to do CN temp F because that's what we're storing it to. Now we have the temperature in Fahrenheit. Right, right now would probably be a good time to calculate the temperature in Celsius and Kelvin. So the temperature, so I'm just going to say temp C is equal to, so I have temp F minus 32 divided by 1.8. And I'm going to put a comment specifying what this equation does. Whenever I, whenever I program an equation that has, like, because this, this equation has numbers in it, but we don't want to, we don't want to use variables for those numbers because this is just a standard equation. So what I'm going to do is just specify what the equation is. So this equation converts temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So now we have the temperature in Celsius. Next I want to calculate the temperature in Kelvin. So this is equal to the temperature Kelvin is the temperature Celsius plus 273. So I have, and I just calculated temp C, so I can just use temp C plus 273. And then I'm going to put a comment on this one as well, just to specify what it's doing. So this converts temperature C to Kelvin. And I spelled this wrong up here, so this is temperature. We also want to calculate the wind chill, but before we do that, let's just print out what we've done so far and make sure it looks right. So what I want to do is see out and I'm going to I'm going to print out the all like the temperature in Fahrenheit, Celsius and Kelvin. And the reason why I want to do that is because then the user can verify that what you used to calculate the Celsius and Kelvin and verify that that it used the temperature they entered so it used the correct temperature. So I'm just going to say temp temperature in Fahrenheit, and this is temp F, I do an end line, and then C out temperature C, and this is, so this is temp C, oops, and then this is end line and then C out temperature K and then this is temp K and then end line. All right, so let's run this. I think it's going to have an error, but I need this, so using All right, so let's save this. And then I need to compile it, so. And then I'm gonna run it. All right, so um, this program calculates the temperature in Celsius and Kelvin from Fahrenheit. It also calculates the wind chill enter temperature in Fahrenheit, so let's just enter 60, and it comes back with 15.6 degrees Celsius and 288.6 Kelvin, so let's do negative 40. So yeah, that's right. One thing that I wanted to show you with this is it's a really good idea to compile your program as you're typing it, so uh, like type a section. So like with this, we just put in these formulas. And so I wanted to compile it and run it and make sure that those were right before I move on and put in the formulas for the wind chill. What you don't want to do is type your entire code 
your program and then compile it at the end and end up with a bunch of errors because it can make it harder to figure out where the errors are if like if you only have one like so right now we know the program works and we know that so if we type some more code compile it later and get another error we know that the error is somewhere in the code we just wrote rather than anywhere in the entire program so let's calculate the wind chill now. So the wind chill F is equal to, and this was a big long formula, so I'm just gonna type it. So 35.74 plus 0.7 plus 0.6215 multiplied by the temperature in Fahrenheit minus 35.75 multiplied by the wind speed, which we need to ask the user for that because we don't have it currently. The wind speed is to the power of 0.16, so we actually need to use the POW function. So this is wind speed to the power of 0 0.16, and then this is plus 0 0.4275 multiplied by temp F, multiplied by the wind speed to the power of 0.16. So I'm just going to do power, um, wind speed, oops, and then 0 0.16. All right, so we, we've done a few things. So we used the power um, function. So that means that we need to include the CMath library. And I'll just show you, you'll get a compilation error if you don't use that, but we're also missing a variable, so we need the wind speed. And that would be a really reasonable thing to ask the user for because that's something that's going to change. And so we want to put another um, C out where we ask the user for the wind speed. So I'm going to do C out, enter the wind speed in miles per hour. and then C in wind speed. And I want to specify that this one is the miles per hour because we're, we're also going to have kilometers, a wind speed in kilometers per hour. So that one's miles per hour. So let's compile this and you'll see that it gets an error if you don't include that, the CMath library. So yeah, so see it doesn't know what this POW is and so I need to um, I need to include this library. So pound include CMath. And now this should work. Oh, I oh I need to change. Okay, because because I so here's what I did. Remember how I um, have wind speed type in the equation, but then I changed this variable to wind speed miles per hour. So I need to go change the wind speed in the equation. So this is wind speed miles per hour and this one is wind speed miles per hour. Save that. All right, now it compiles. So let's go ahead and and print out the wind chill just to make sure it looks right. And I'm going to put a comment on this as well to specify what it is. So this calculates the wind chill using Fahrenheit and miles per hour. So then I come down here, and I'm going to do C out, temperature, including wind chill in F, in Fahrenheit. So that's, and then I have, what did I call that again? Um, wind chill F. All right, let's compile this and see if it looks reasonable. Okay, so enter the temperature. Let's just do 30. Enter the wind speed. Let's do 20. And it calculated 17.36 for the wind chill. So I'm not going to do the Celsius wind chill. It'll, it'll just be the same 
thing with a different equation. But one thing I want to show you, this is the code. Like, so notice how this code I've written is how I have spaces between different parts of the code. And I've the equations, I've specified what the equations are. So I guess one thing I want you to see with this is how the spacing in the code can make it pretty readable. Like one goal that you want to, one goal for when you're writing your code is to make it readable. Like you don't want to make it so it's hard to read. And so for instance, I wouldn't want to do, like I could have all this stuff kind of crammed together. But, and I mean, it would still run fine, but see how just doing that makes this a little bit harder to read. So you want to, like when you're writing your code, just try to make it so it, it looks nice and it's readable.